Burkina Faso the land of upright people. Welcome to Burkina Faso, a land of vibrant cultures and traditions and a history that dates back to ancient times. In this video, we'll take you through Burkina Faso's rich cultural heritage and history, exploring the country's unique cuisine and artistic traditions. History the Masi Kingdom was a powerful pre-colonial state that once ruled over much of what is now Burkina Faso. The Masi people were skilled warriors and traders, and their influence can still be seen in Burkina Faso's cultural traditions today. The Masi Kingdom was founded in the 11th century when several Masi chiefdoms united to form a powerful state. Over time, the Masi Kingdom grew in size and influence, with a powerful military that could conquer neighboring territories. Despite the Masi Kingdom's strength, it eventually fell to French colonization in the late 19th century. However, the Masi people have maintained their cultural traditions and play an essential role in Burkina Faso's society today. Other kingdoms include Kingdom of Dagomba located in the northern part of present-day Ghana and extending into Burkina Faso. The Dagomba Kingdom was one of the region's earliest and most powerful kingdoms, with a history dating back to the 11th century. Kingdom of Gurma located in the eastern part of Burkina Faso. The Gurma Kingdom emerged in the 13th century and was known for its military prowess and skilled horsemanship. Kingdom of Yatenga, located in the northern part of Burkina Faso. The Yatenga Kingdom was one of the region's most powerful and long-lasting kingdoms, with a history dating back to the 14th century. The kingdom was known for its strong military and commercial ties with neighboring empires. Kingdom of Tenkodogo located in the central part of Burkina Faso. The Tenkodogo Kingdom was a relatively small but prosperous kingdom that emerged in the 16th century. The kingdom was known for its skilled artisans and its strategic location on trade routes. Food. One of the best ways to experience Burkina Faso's culture is through its food. The country's cuisine is diverse and flavorful, with many dishes incorporating local ingredients like millet, sorghum, and peanuts. Some popular dishes include too, a type of porridge made from millet or sorghum flour. Riz gras, a rice dish cooked in a tomato-based sauce with vegetables and meat. Visitors to Burkina Faso can also enjoy local snacks like beignets and fried dough balls, often served with spicy sauce. Festivals. Burkina Faso is a country with a rich cultural heritage, and it is home to several unique festivals that showcase the country's traditions and customs. Here are some of the most notable festivals in Burkina Faso. FESPACO, the Pan-African Film and Television Festival of Ouagadougou. FESPACO, is a biennial event that celebrates African cinema. It is the largest film festival on the continent, attracting filmmakers, actors, and film enthusiasts worldwide. The festival showcases a range of films, from documentaries to feature-length dramas, and it is an essential platform for African filmmakers to share their stories and perspectives. Festival International de la Culture et des Arts du Burkina Faso FESTICAB FESTICAB is an annual festival celebrating the country's cultural diversity. It features a range of activities, including music, dance, theater, and visual arts. The festival is held in the capital city of Ouagadougou, attracting thousands of visitors from across the country and beyond. Xiao, the International Art and Craft Fair. Xiao, is a biennial event showcasing Burkina Faso's best art and craft. The fair features a range of products, including textiles, pottery, wood carvings, and jewelry. It is an important platform for local artisans to sell their products and connect with buyers worldwide. La Semaine Nationale de la Culture, SNC. National Culture Week is an annual event celebrating Burkina Faso's cultural heritage. It is held in different parts of the country each year and features various activities, including music, dance, theater, and traditional sports. The event is an important opportunity for Burkina Faso to showcase its cultural diversity and promote national unity. Fête de la Musique The Fête de la Musique is an annual music festival celebrated in cities and towns across Burkina Faso. The festival showcases a range of musical genres, from traditional folk music to contemporary pop and hip-hop. It is a celebration of music and community and a popular event for people of all ages. In conclusion, Burkina Faso has a vibrant cultural scene, and its festivals are essential to its cultural heritage. 
These festivals offer a unique opportunity to experience the country's traditions and customs, and they are an important platform for local artists and artisans to showcase their talents. Political History Burkina Faso has a tumultuous political history characterized by coups and military interventions. The first coup in Burkina Faso occurred in 1966, just six years after the country gained independence from France. Several others followed this coup in the following decades, including one in 1980 that brought General Jean-Baptiste Wadraugu to power. Perhaps the most notable coup in Burkina Faso's history occurred in 1983 when Captain Thomas Sankara led a military coup that overthrew the government of President Jean-Baptiste Wadraugu. Thomas Sankara was a Burkinabe military captain and revolutionary who served as the president of Burkina Faso from 1983 until his assassination in 1987. He is considered one of the most influential figures in African history and a symbol of resistance against neocolonialism and imperialism. Sankara's presidency was marked by his commitment to revolutionary ideals and his determination to improve the living conditions of the Burkinabe people. He implemented numerous social and economic reforms, including land redistribution, nationalization of key industries, and a campaign to promote self-sufficiency and self-reliance. Sankara was also a staunch advocate for women's rights and promoted gender equality. He launched a nationwide campaign to combat female genital mutilation and other harmful traditional practices and appointed women to prominent positions in government. However, Sankara's radical policies and anti-imperialist stance put him at odds with Western powers and domestic elites, leading to his downfall. Sankara's rule was cut short by another military coup in 1987, led by his former friend and colleague, Blaise Compaoré. Sankara was killed in the coup, and Compaoré took over as president. Despite his short time in power, Sankara's legacy inspires movements for social justice and anti-imperialism in Africa and beyond. He is remembered for his commitment to African unity, vision for a more just and equitable society, and uncompromising stance against neocolonialism and imperialism. In 2014, Compaoré attempted to change the constitution to allow himself to run for a third term in office. This move sparked widespread protests and civil unrest, and Compaoré was eventually forced to resign. The military took control of the government and established a transitional government led by Michel Cofondo, which oversaw the drafting of a new constitution and the organization of new elections. In November 2015, Rock Mark Christian Kabor was elected as the new president of Burkina Faso in the country's first democratic election since the coup. Geographical Location Burkina Faso is a landlocked country located in West Africa. Six other countries border at Mali to the north, Niger to the east, Benin to the southeast, Togo and Ghana to the south, and Ivory Coast to the southwest. Burkina Faso has an area of approximately 274,200 square kilometers, making it the 74th largest country in the world. The country's terrain is generally flat, with savannas and semi-arid grasslands covering much of the landscape. The country's northern regions are part of the Sahel, a semi-arid zone stretching across Africa. The capital city of Burkina Faso is Ouagadougou, located in the country's center. With a population of over 2 million people, Ouagadougou is the largest city in Burkina Faso and the country's economic and cultural center. The city is known for its vibrant nightlife, music scene, bustling markets, and many museums and cultural institutions. Despite its landlocked location, Burkina Faso has a growing economy based mainly on agriculture, mining, and manufacturing. The country is a leading producer of cotton and gold and has recently begun to explore the potential for renewable energy sources like solar and wind power. Conclusion Burkina Faso's rich cultural heritage and history make it an extraordinary place, full of unique experiences and traditions. Whether you're exploring the country's cuisine, enjoying its artistic traditions, or simply taking in the beauty of its landscapes, Burkina Faso is a destination that should be on everyone's travel list. Thanks for joining us on this journey through time and culture of Burkina Faso. Like, share, comment and subscribe.